Well, greetings folks, hope you are all keeping well. In this video, we're going to dispel some common misconceptions about the mute swans. I will share some amazing facts you might not already know, and there's a lot of beliefs surrounding these birds. In this video, I'll show if there's any truth. Can swans die from heartbreak? Can swans break your arm? Why are they mute? And also, how their history has intertwined with ours. The mute swan, also sometimes referred to as the white swan, is native to much of Europe and Asia, and is a rare vagrant to the far north of Africa. Its closest relatives are actually the black swan of Australia and the black neck swan of South America. Swans feed primarily on aquatic plants, but they also eat grain, grasses and crop foods, such as wheat, potatoes and carrots, especially in the winter when other food sources aren't readily available. Mute swans also eat insects, fish and frogs. With their long necks gives them an advantage over the short necked ducks. They can feed in deeper water than geese. They can feed in waters of up to 4 feet or 1.2 metres by upending themselves and stretching out their long necks to uproot plants and snap off leaves and stems of plants growing underwater. Did you know that the mute swan is the largest bird in Ireland and in the UK? and these beautiful birds are protected by law and cannot be touched. In the UK, the myth about the swans is that they are all owned by the king. This is true to the most part. The free roaming swans in the country are owned by the monarch, but there are also three other owners. The Ilchester family in the Abbotsbury Swannery in Dorchester, the Vinters and the Dyer companies both own swans on the River Thames in London. Within its native range, the mute swan's population is estimated to consist of 500,000 birds. 350,000 of these occur in the former Soviet Union. In Ireland, we have a population of 2,500 breeding pairs, and in the UK, they have a population of 22,000 birds. Another misconception about these beautiful birds is that they mate for life, and one will die of a broken heart if their partner dies. While being very romantic, this is partially wrong. It is true that they mate for life, but they do not die of a broken heart, and they will find another mate if their partner dies. Despite mute swans being called mute, their vocalisations consist of grunting, hoarse whistling and snorting noises, particularly when communicating with their young, which is unusually hiss at predators. One popular symbol in Irish mythology is the swan. The swan often symbolises light and purity. The people of pre-Christian Ireland also saw swans as creatures that could connect to the other world where gods and goddesses lived. Also swans are depicted within our folklore we heard as children. The most famous of these stories is the tragic tale of the children of Lear and how four children got turned into swans by their evil stepmother. That story I'll link in the description. From my research I could dispel another myth about these magnificent birds. While standing next to them, you can see how big they are. Mute swans are the heaviest of all waterfowl, weighing in at an average of 11.87 kilograms. If they slap you with their wing, it would hurt, but I found no evidence or articles that they could break your arm. Like all birds, their bones are hollow, and they wouldn't have sufficient power to do so. Folks, if you like this content, you might like Google's next recommendation on flamingos. Why do they stand on one leg? Thank you so much for watching. Keep safe and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye bye.